Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have kind of an interesting sort of off the cuff video and uh, we're gonna be looking at some artwork which dropped on Twitter from Industrial Light and Magic regarding the rise of Skywalker. It's called a design case study and they're gonna be showing us basically a lot of stuff that was left out of the uh, visual dictionary and art of book. And in this case, it's primarily Palpatine. There are some ship things and other elements at the bottom of this case study, but the real cool stuff in here is Palpatine. So let's take a look. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of talk, there's no script, just us hanging out looking at stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get down to it. So some of these concepts, while pretty simple, just I think are really breathtaking and remind me a lot of that movie Prometheus. And I always thought it was pretty cool too that, um, you know, it says right here, I'll read this in a second. I always thought that it was neat that Exegol was like the inversion of Ock 2, like a lush island planet with green and oceans and water and life. And this one had like a lifeless island with no water and you know what I mean? So it, it was cool. and. It also says here there was a different reason, apparently, for the citadel structure. It's supposed to be like the Jedi Temple flipped upside down, showing, uh, as it says, the Sith in their alignment in the dark side of the Force. I like that thinking. It's pretty cool. You know, I wouldn't mind having some of these framed. <laughs> it looks neat. Um, <clears throat> this was really curious to me, too. Like, most of this is just regular concept art where they take existing materials and comp a little person into it. This, on the other hand, was really interesting to me. Um, we, we see some very important Sith Lords here. We see Revan, uh, and we see Bane here. I can't really make out anybody else, but yeah, apparently I would argue they were considering canonizing as much of the EU as possible with this film, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it says here they referenced cultures like Egyptians, Sumerians. Sumerians is interesting. Um, can't pronounce that at all. But yeah, just for these ancient structures, I think they nailed it. It's so cool finally seeing some of this stuff. Can't believe it was left out of the art book, but apparently the reasoning is this is all so secret that they couldn't keep it in the book, and the book pressed five months before the movie got out and some of this stuff was still being worked on maybe so who knows very cool though this is basically what was in the in the movie for sure like one thing this movie could have used right in the beginning here is kylo um having a bit of awe around what he was seeing a bit of reverence instead of like getting right to the gist of this scene um you know i do have a video coming out this weekend the one year later video for Tross, and uh, I got a lot of cons and a lot of pros, mostly cons, but we'll talk about it. So yeah, more more Sith Lords. This stuff is great, huh? Um, this one's a little weird. It's like a shorter statue, which still looks pretty cool, but yeah, I'm glad they went with the enormous statues. I think it looks great. It's just cool to finally see. This is creepy. No lower mouth giant head man. So probably early concept of, uh, you know, Kylo descending down into this pit. And I, I actually like that they didn't use something like this and just used like a repulsor lift tech or whatever the hell was going on to make it go up and down. It was really unclear. But again, with the Prometheus aesthetic here, really cool. And then finally, the Palpatine creepiness. This is so interesting. I kind of wish instead of the blue dreariness that we got this red. It looks great for Palpatine. It looks creepy as hell too, right? And and really curious how the original I guess standoff was gonna go. Was was there an original version of this scene maybe where Kylo did stay evil until the very end, seeing Ray being drained of energy? Who knows? Who knows? But still very cool stuff. Um yeah, we get some more tank imagery here from the uh, the cloning facility where Kylo's walking by all this stuff. I think this looks great. That looks like a Black Series Kylo Ren toy to me. <laughs> but really cool. Um, oh yeah, so now we get some Palpatine face stuff. To me, this almost looks like just a still image from the movie, which maybe it is. 
Um, yeah, it says revealing Emperor Palpatine was a monumental task that took a lot of trial and error. How decayed would his body look? How many life supporting machines would there be around him? It was important to convey that the once all powerful emperor was no longer in his prime, but a shadow of his former self while still keeping him menacing. As the story progresses, Palpatine regenerates. So that's interesting. Maybe there was a slow regeneration over the course of the original concept of Palpatine versus the dyad originally. Who knows? But yeah, what what a gross image. Um, that's really cool and disturbing. They probably didn't go that hard because of children. But then again, his hands in the movie are pretty pretty gross. Um, I think this is cool too with all the cables going into his face like even this right here but yeah how, how creepy this looks more like what they landed on in the movie unless this is literally a production still a lot of times it's hard to tell with the concept art and this is just hilarious <laughs> if this was the end result of of him regenerating like no hood just revenge of the sith palpatine i would have laughed it's so funny um yeah, and seeing the structures here for the Sith Al or bleh, where the Sith acolytes would chill. Sorry, guys, I can't even speak. That looks great. Um, I kind of like this more than what was in the movie because it feels more thought out. But then again, that could have just been because of the lighting, and you couldn't make out things. But yeah, the Return of the Jedi throne in this area, very very cool looking. This is mostly what we saw in the film. You know, we get Rey before the the Sith throne. The curious thing, though, is like, where does the Palpatine arm really come in? It just drops from the top and there he is, I guess. So that's very, very cool. I think we're getting to the end of most of the Palpatine stuff. Yeah, and then, and then this just kind of ends with showing us um, more of the more practical elements of Exegol. So th this is that navigation beacon that Finn takes out some early concept art of this. I love seeing the ad out here. Um, or AT-AT, -AT, if you want to be pedantic about it. Um, but very cool. Just basic stuff here, it looks like. Nothing, nothing too amazing or breathtaking to me here. Looks like maybe a Kylo for scale. Maybe that's the new scaling system I'll use. Instead of a banana for scale, I'll use a Kylo Ren for scale. Um, that could be a better way to, to measure things. Wide boy scale, maybe, is what we could call it. But yeah, this is cool. Some of this stuff, I wonder... Um, it makes me wonder if the original color palette of Exegol was more of a orangey hue, and they just recolored it to blue. But tough to say. Some of this derpy stuff from the movie, you know, they took this from the Fulminatrix and they slapped it on the bottom of a ISB. Um... Or I'm sorry, uh, of a uh, Imperial, I just said ISB. Um, and they just slapped it onto the bottom of the Star Destroyer. It's it's just funny to me. Um, oh yeah, and this right here, I thought this was cool because A, this was getting worked on, you know, before the movie came out and Pablo Hidalgo came out saying that, yeah, the beginning of the movie was really the only thing that was really messed with the most except for maybe the octu scene and this makes me just fully believe now that there was never anything but ray and palpatine never force ghosts around her never her and kylo ren i i think this was it i think this is what happened they probably just did this a few different ways because there were a few pickup pickups apparently of the sequence uh you know some old leakers um, RIP to the, some of those leakers who will not be named um, talked about this stuff but it's always seemingly just been Ray and Palpatine but it's cool to see um, wasn't really a big fan of uh, crossing the sabers to destroy all the Sith but uh, impressive imagery so I like it um, this right here has super old school 80 vibes like reminds me of the Ewoks movie when whatever the hell the uh, evil foe is and the second one dies and his eyes glow so yeah, that's pretty cool. Just generic Palpatine death. Uh, this is great too. You know, I'm not a big ship guy. I don't know a lot about ships. Um, it's more of like a Eckhart's Ladder Channel kind of deal. 
um, EC Henry, other people that like really know their shit about that stuff. But this is cool, you know? Honestly, the framing of this and the lack of that bubbly lens that they used in the movie, I prefer this look versus what was in the film. It didn't feel triumphant when everybody showed up in the movie. This looks like overwhelming, you know? So cool. Oh yeah, we got some horse stuff here. This scene was kind of funny to me. I like space horses. I got a soft spot for uh, for that weird fantasy horse stuff. It's always horses, right? Um, yeah, I thought this was interesting. No idea what these ships are supposed to be here from uh, the Resistance or the, Re or the New Rebellion, if you will. Um, but neat. Very neat. Also, we got the classic Palpatine shot from the movie here. This looks like it was a direct one-to-one -one almost. What else do we got that's cool? The rest of this is pretty, pretty much what we saw. This looks like something straight from the movie as well. Yeah, and this is after the battle ends. Wow. This looks like almost like a screen grab from the movie. I, w I wonder if it is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, yeah, I believe that there was a sequence of this in the early teaser that just never made it into the movie. This could also be a still. Who knows? Um, it's pretty neat. I wonder if this was more of the light speed skipping areas of the galaxy. Maybe they went through a few more areas. Tough to say. And uh, there is like a worm coming up. This isn't the worm I'm talking about. This is close to the one that's in the movie. But there's one with Kylo Ren traveling through the nebula. This one, um, which looks like the worm from Empire Strikes Back. I think it lived in the nebula. There it is. Yeah, this would have been pretty interesting, but maybe a little too... Hey, remember Empire Strikes Back, if you know what I mean? But what an image. Like, the scale of him to the size of this. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and this I think this just wraps up with the uh, with the Falcon Chase sequence, which looks like there was a bit more to it, which makes me frustrated. <laughs> but also, whatever. Who cares? Um, movies are over. But yeah, th th this is cool, guys. I highly suggest you go and just check this out yourself. I I've literally just been doing save image as and just tossing them into a folder. And I love looking at Star Wars art, so... Definitely go check out the visual development of The Rise of Skywalker. I think if you just type in like a Heart of Darkness ILM, it'll probably come up as the first search result. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty cool. I, I just wish that they would do a re-release of the art book so that way we can get all this stuff in one place. Regardless of how you take the movies, I think the art of Star Wars just is fun to look at because it makes you think of, you know what could have been it makes your your own imagination take off and you invent your own like star wars stories inside your head yeah so hopefully this was cool for you guys um sorry for the non-scripted video but this just dropped and i wanted to share all of this imagery with you as quickly as i could um and yeah like i said download this stuff into a folder because who knows how long this will stay up i'm not sure how ilm uses their site if they take stuff down after a year or half a year but very cool stuff. I'm so happy we got to see some of the design work and concept art behind Exegol and Palpatine. Like, thank God. Biggest thing missing from the Art of book. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Adat, signing off.